hi guys welcome again to another video today I will be doing for you some rope twist braids we're gonna be using our expressions so we're gonna be using like a pack and a half of this because we're gonna do it in a bob length and we're gonna curl the ends with the perm rod so stay tuned I'm gonna show you step by step how this is done so we're gonna cut this in about five so that we get it nice and short not too tall because our client my client don't want it to be too long so we're just giving her a nice natural hairstyle that can be very flexible and she can style it any way that she wants so I'm going to section this and I'm going to do it cut it in five five even parts so this is how I normally measure it then I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to mix the braids and show you how we tease the ends of the braids to get it nice and uneven and fluffy. This is the first piece, so we're going to be mixing this. So this is the length that we're working with. So we're going to be just pulling it up like this just to get it the ends teased mm -hmm. some people you would prefer to use the pre-stretch braids but today I will be using just the regular expressions and I'm going to be teasing the ends we're just taking our time we're just kind of picking it up so we'll hold it firmly and just take our time and pick pick the hair so we're going to do this until everything at the end is uneven then we're going to use a big teeth comb or a brush and we're going to brush it out to get it nice and smooth so just getting the hair prepared so that I can start I'm just holding it like this you're gonna see the ends look a bit trashy so you're gonna just gonna take your time and you're gonna comb it out see we have this end a bit uneven so this end is almost finished teasing so we're going to be focusing on the other end so this takes a little time sometimes so it's good if you get the hair before and you can always stretch it before or if we use a pre-stretch we could just go ahead but because we're doing a bob style the pre-stretch would be too long so it wouldn't make any sense we use a pre-stretch so guys i will be using my olive oil edge control just to put on the partings so i will be doing rope twist braids so i'm going to start now so let's put in a little bit on my hand back. So we're doing semi-small, not too small, not too big. from the root then we're going to just overlap it and there we have it nice and firm nice semi small size so just twisting that out to the ends Meeting two. Oh, 
incorporate so the ends are uneven and we're going to just add it in the middle and we're going to twine one side in and the other side under and automatically it's going to overlap so there it is overlap at the root nice and firm and you're going to continue twisting the hair rolling the hair and it just automatically goes twist firm like that so normally this this process takes approximately four hours to do or a little bit more sometimes depends Cut the hair in two. Sometimes if the hair is not mixed properly, you can always just barely stretch it a little bit more. There we have it. Then you're overlapping the hair at the roots. Continue twisting down until you reach the end. the finger and kind of rub in the edge control if you see it just on the top look messy just use the finger and just kind of bake it in so that it rubs out smoothly okay guys so we are almost done we're more than halfway through mm -hmm. so here we have the back nice and and small and pretty very fluffy and full so we're gonna do one more row and then we're gonna go ahead and start the sides we're gonna do this side and then the next side we're gonna give her a side part we're gonna also do a center part so she can wear it either way parting the part a little bit cleaner
So now guys we're going to be trimming the braids. I already trimmed this side so there's this few more need to be trimmed. And I'm going to go ahead and put some perm rods on the ends and then hot water the braids. So we're almost done. So now guys we're going to be hot water in the ends. We already got the perm rods on the end. So we're going to dip them. I'm going to dip them in the water. So this is our finished look so she can either wear it center or she can wear it on the side just flick it to the side like that so center or she can have it sideways so I'm gonna just brush up her edges now and then that's it guys eyebrows just finished shaving and did her edges and there we have it our finished handiwork if you have made it to the end of this video thank you guys for watching see you next time